Lines on Design. I am here today with Andrea, and we are talking about Only at Distinctive. And I'll tell you what, this is a great way to do it. We've been to the showrooms. We've seen where all the granite is and all the different stone. We thought it might be fun today to actually come to a home where you have installed lots of different stone products and um, take a look at some of the applications. Again, and I can just say this straight up, Only at Distinctive, do you get a professional who can do this this many creative things with hard surfaces. So we're really excited, Andrea. And you look adorable, by the way. I hear Thank we're going to have a baby here soon. I think that's we amazing. Are. Thank you so much. Good for you. Well, I tell you what, it's a glorious day here in the Low Country. And let's talk, if we will, about some of the ways outside that you used the applications for granite and stone and all kinds of things. Can we okay. start first just with the entryway? Sure. Actually, what's used here is slate. Um, and what we've kind of done a combination of slab and tile, as you can see. So yes. what's on the stairs is out of slab, so you get the thickness. And the tile is what's used on the top and on the risers in between. So it still matches, but we're able to cut it with a curve. So like around the planners and things like that, you're able to get those radiuses and you know curves that you need. And I'll tell you what, there are a lot of places to go for stone. There really are. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not really pitching, I'm just saying the truth. But when it comes to creative uses, you all are the pros. Yes, I, mean, I would say so too. <laughs> I mean, we were just laughing. Your dad's in Italy right now. He is. I mean, so, I mean, it comes straight from um, the horse's mouth, if you will. It does. I love it. it all does. right, let's walk up here and see. Okay. Um, one of the things that I really like as we're walking up are the use of pillars and visual breaks throughout the home. Andrea and I have stepped outside and we're at the back of the house now. Again, the front of the house is amazing. And the way the rest of the show is going to work is we're going to talk about this fantastic porch and decking. And then we're going to move inside and talk about some other applications. So Andrea, I'm really curious about how this is laid out and what you all did as far as treatments here. Okay. Um, well, obviously, we put the leather finish on the countertops out here. Why leather? It's the best finish for an outdoor application. Okay. Um, water just beads right up on the stone. You don't see pollen and dirt and things like that. It makes it very easy to maintain and clean. Okay. Um, so it's forgiving. That's the design term I use. Yes. When you want to cook, is it? It's a great surface to have next to the Absolutely, grill. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. It's easy to clean. It doesn't. You know, you don't see grease and oil and things like that. It's much easier to clean rather than a polished surface that everything just kind of sits right on top of. The other thing I notice is everything looks very finished. It's not just a grill sitting in the kitchen area, the outdoor right. kitchen area. You've got a wonderful hood. Yes. It's a built-in hood. Um, what we did was we did, again, the slate tile here. Oh, um, okay. This is slate. Yes. And then we carried the slate detail on the backsplash and added a few glass inserts just for some color. And again, if someone is coming into you, we're talking about only a distinctive, do you get the professional service with the professional uh, materials that really set your house apart from the norm? This is truly a home because it's very individualized. Talk to me about selecting um, accent pieces. What do you recommend? Well, I recommend first coming to the house because everybody's house is different. You know, what you want to bring into the, the design aspect as far as color or designs or shapes or textures. If I come to the house and you give me an idea of what you're looking for okay. as far as a vision, if, if you want to put color, if you want to add some greens or blues, mm -hmm. then we go from there, whether it be a glass tile or, you know, metal accents, things like that. Um, there's lots of different tile and and you know, ways you can bring in decorative designs now, not just by using glass. Oh, so there's all kinds of different things you can use. Here they chose um, really a cobalt blue. Yes. And that sets, it really pops everything out. I want to walk over and look at this water feature because I think it's gorgeous. Okay. I tell you, the water feature really adds this wonderful sound. It's so soothing. I love it. It is. It's very nice. And you all have done an excellent job at pulling in the accent colors, too, all the way over to the fireplace. Yes. That Talk was a big piece. That. Yeah. The fireplace is actually, we tied in the same granite as what we used on the grill okay. over there. And we were also able to bring in some tiles from the um, homeowner's 
culture, their yes. motherland. All right. So we were able to bring in some of those and also bring in the colors, the accent cobalt blues and the browns. And again, from a professional point of view, one of the things that I think is really impressive about what you did mm -hmm. is we talked about the leathered top over on the grill area. Yes. The granite here is very different. Same granite, but different application. Correct. And it's leather. I'm getting good at this. You uh -huh. are. You should work with us. <laughs> It's leathered, but the edges are polished, so it adds a finished kind of it's touch. Like a, yeah, I really like it. It's very, very sophisticated. It's you've created a very comfortable environment too, which I really appreciate. Do you all does the homeowner do a lot of living out here? Absolutely. Yeah. Is that important when a customer comes in to really find out how they're going to live in the space? Absolutely, I think it is, and that's why I like to come to the the house and get a feel of what they're really looking to do, what they're you know, their vision is for the room, for the, you know, the entire application, whether mm -hmm. they're looking to spend most of their time up here or down there. I've always wanted to ask you this. Sometimes we get in our mind the way we think we want things to look, but we don't know. We're not professionals. You know, only a distinctive do you really, again, we're talking about you being the professional. You can tell me all the new things, all the new colors right. that are in. Mm -hmm. Does it help for people to come in with a preconceived notion? Do you like swipe files? What what can actually help you? Pictures. Really? Yes, okay. absolutely. I always, always tell my clients, get as many pictures, whether it's magazines, online, Google image, house, whatever. If you get you know, inspiration through yes. photos and you bring in, I don't care if you bring in 10 different pictures and it's one thing from this one, one thing from that one, at least I get an idea, a feel of what your vision is, what you're looking to do with this room. So. If I can come up with a vision, you can help me put the application together. Absolutely. I want to walk over and look. There are two places I don't want to, well, three, really. I don't want to miss the fire pit. Okay. I want to walk over to the, kind of the underground, underground, <laughs> the under, um, where the columns the are. Gazebo. The gazebo. That's it. Yes. The gazebo is where we want to go. And then I really want to look at the, um, the infinity pool. pool. It's okay. really pretty. Let's walk over here to this first. Oh, Andrea, everywhere I look, there's a different application that you all have done at Distinctive. All right, talk me through the fire pit. Okay, well, obviously what's on the floor here is travertine. I love um, this. Natural stone? Yes, it's unfilled with a chiseled edge, and we've got a large space, obviously, here. So we chose to do the Versailles pattern because you okay. can show it. So what we did, again, was we did the slate on the front, oh, and then we it. tied in the travertine slab on the top. So and again, we're able to cut and radius and bullnose those edges. Which is really interesting because one of the things that I was noticing when I was sitting down is, again, there aren't, there aren't sharp edges. No. It's, a, it's a very gentle curve. It's very soft, too. It's was soft that, when you sit down, yes. That's so very important. Those are the things that I think people don't think about until you have a hard edge and you don't want a hard edge. Right. One of the coolest things that I think you did. Oh, the tables? Look, you're like, oh, it's just a table. <laughs> but there are tables scattered throughout. And talk them through. Um, well, basically, cool. we, they had a bunch of bases made out of wrought iron. And then we were able to make the, the tables around the sizes of the bases. And so just different kinds of granite? Yes. They were very open to putting in different colors of browns and golds because obviously we have so many different colors going on out here mm -hmm. in neutrals that they were able to be a little bit more, you know, forgiving when it came to colors. And, and let's talk about that because one of the things that I have noticed out here is there are lots and lots and lots of different neutrals, but the splashes of color with that cobalt blue really pull everything yes. together. Yes, it was important to do that because the floor is so light. We brought in, you know, with the slate, you've got more chocolate and brown colors, mm -hmm. and then we were able to bring in the accent blues. One of the things that you said you had a lot to do with that was really pretty inspirational is doing a gazebo, which I couldn't find the words for, but a gazebo makes a lot of sense. And there again, you've combined a lot of the stone with some wood also. Yes. It's cast stone, which again, it matches the same color as the travertine that we've used on the floor and up the front. And again, mm -hmm. we've used just a, a piece of the slab there to work as the base for the, the columns. And what's interesting to me is the way that you've created these visual breaks. So you've got this massive deck, but it really looks like tiny, cozy vignettes. Yes. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's because it's such a big open space and we had so much to work with, mm -hmm. but there were so many different applications we wanted to bring into one space without making it look choppy, mm -hmm. you know, small and having different things in different settings. We kind of wanted all of these different elements, but we wanted it to still work in one area. Does the travertine really pull it all together? Do you think that was I one? I think it does, yes. Yeah. That was and it's soft on the feet, the color works, 
it's just it's such a beautiful look and it runs right into the pool area which is important and I know we've only got a couple minutes in this segment but I have to walk over to the pool oh my gosh I tell you yes. what if I wasn't in white jeans I'd jump in this is pretty <laughs> cool you got to see this I tell you what, it's a gorgeous day out here, and this infinity pool is like no other. Beautiful sailboat just passed. Look at the incredible view. Wait a minute, let's bring the focus back to what we're talking about, Andrea, and that is this incredible pool and some of the treatments that you've done in the applications with this stone. Yes, again, we carried the, the travertine all the way up, and then we were able to use the slab as the, the top. Again, we carried that around as the coping of the pool. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, it's much softer. It's nice oh, when you sit. It. You've yes. got the bull nose edge. And then we've got the glass cobalt blue accents that go around the outside mm -hmm. of the spa. Also, if you notice, it's on the inside of the spa, the water line and around the planters. I tell you what. What you can't see, and what I'm hoping Mike's going to show us in a minute, is that within the pool is one of the granite tables. Yes. Tell me why, what inspired that? It's a floating table. Um, basically, the, what goes around this side of the pool is, is a bench. You know, kind of, it, it runs into the stairs. Yes. So what the homeowners wanted was kind of an area for, you know, they always have family and friends over for holidays and things like that, and obviously it's so beautiful out oh. here, they always want to stay in the pool. So they wanted somewhere to kind of congregate inside the pool, to be able to sit comfortably and put mm -hmm. drinks down and maybe play cards, do things like that. So it was important to have an area, a setting for that within the pool. You know what we're going to do is we've been outside and we absolutely love it. But what I'd like to do now is walk in to the hub of this home, the kitchen great room. This is just an amazing space and distinctive. You have worked, Andrea, magic in here. So let's go take a look. Okay. <laughs> on design and again we are with Andrea from Distinctive and we are talking about applications today of the fantastic products that you all have. We've been outside and it's absolutely amazing. The inside also is phenomenal and I think one of the things we want to talk about today is the attention to detail. Yes. The clients um, that you served here really knew what they wanted and they were brave. Absolutely. They really were. They so, were. So talk us through this phenomenal stairway first. Okay. Well, as you enter the house, you can kind of see we used a travertine on the floor. Okay. Um, and it's actually a specific vein cut travertine. It's called Onyx. It's got the browns and chocolate colors in there. So we were able to tie in the Imperador dark chocolate ah. marble and we leathered that. So it's not as slick, and we use that on the stairway all the way up. All right, let's. But I think it's important to talk about the leathering and the finishes that you use. What I hear you say is there are different applications or different finishes that are more appropriate for different places. I would say so. Okay. Absolutely. Um, again, this is done in slabs. So when you have slabs, you have the opportunity, you know, the option to either leather or hone or leave it polished. Well, okay. for stairs, and you're obviously using it. People are walking up and down. Yeah. This it's specific not, stairway it's not is slick. huge. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stairs. It goes all the way up. Mm -hmm. So you want something that's grippy, that's, you know, not going to be slippery, that's not going to, you know, hurt so much if you fall down. Talk about dramatic impact. And then as your eye follows this grand circular wall, yeah, this is the medallion. Amazing. And the chandelier. It is. It's gorgeous. It's little details like that that you don't notice until you look and it makes that big of an impact. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. One of the other things that's fun about this home is all of the use of the, uh, the plaster finishes. Yes. It really adds all this depth and dimension and layering. There is, I think you could come in this home 400 times and see something different every single time. I agree. I, I mean, see different things all the time. Do you really? It's, <laughs> I oh, do. I bet it's fun. <laughs> I Again, do. you were talking to me about creative uses of stone and the niches over here that have been created. Again, as visual impacts. Let's Absolutely. walk over and see that. Okay. Talk to me a little bit, if you will, about the creation of this, how you all did this. Basically, what it's, inspired you? It's in onyx. Um, okay. They wanted to do niches that they could light that would make that, you know, that drastic look, kind of the 3D, almost mm -hmm. like you could see through it. And Onyx obviously creates that visual centerpiece. Um, so it's all cut out of slab. And those are pieces. Really? Yes. That's one 
you know, slab that's on the back wall there. And then, you know, we cut around the sides here out of slab, and, and then this is out of a slab as well. And then they made the bullnose pieces, the OG edges, to finish off to frame out the piece, if you will. I mean, to, and then it's got lighting that really sets it apart with a glass shell. So yep. you get, to me, you get this, these darks and lights and highs and lows. I mean, it's absolutely spectacular. One of the things you said about the family that lives here is it is a very family-oriented home. It is. As we're listening to the, the clock, yes. isn't that great? And that this is kind of the hub of where the family lives. It's very open. Everything is a huge open you know, space. The rooms run into each other, which is important. Mm -hmm. When you're in the living room, you're also in the kitchen. Which makes a lot of sense. I want to walk over and take a look at the other onyx where you tied together the onyx pieces here. I think it's okay. brilliant. You know what, we, as we're walking over, I'm noticing the travertine on the floor just makes everything flow, just like the travertine outside. Yes. All right, you have to talk to me about that really quickly. Travertine in here, travertine out there, they look yes, very different. they are. This on the floor inside is the honed and filled with a straight edge. Outside is unfilled and it's brushed, so mm -hmm. you get that kind of a soft texture, and it's got the chiseled edge, so that it's softer on your feet, you know, you've got the holes, you've got that kind of brush finish. So it's softer on the feet, it doesn't hold in the heat, it doesn't hold in the cold. It's just better for an outdoor application. This is why you have a pro. I mean, it really makes a huge difference. Because who would know? All right, this is the coolest. Onyx? Yes. All right, tell me about Onyx first, and then how in the world did you shape this? Well, it's book matched, actually. Right. So what does book match mean? Basically, there's two identical slabs. Okay. So, you know, when every slab is cut, the right. block is cut, and it's sliced like a loaf of bread. Got it. So the grain runs straight through. Um, when you get a stone like this that has that drastic of movement, when you pull in the identical slab and put them next to each other, it creates a shape. Um, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. With onyx, you're more likely to get you know, a, a shape or some sort of a dramatic result when you put them together. But these are two identical slabs that have been book matched together. And but, that's the result. But not only did you book match this, but the shelf yes. with the with the corbels are pretty Th those are made out of slab also. Everything is, you know, crafted together from slab. I mean it's it's mm -hmm. amazing. It's laminated so that it's thicker. Okay. Um, and then it's shaped. They cut those shapes to, you know, support the mantle. Mm -hmm. Do you do a lot with onyx these days? Because I keep seeing beautiful onyx pieces. We do, actually. We're doing more and more with fireplaces, with, um, on, you know, decorative walls. A right. lot of people are playing more with, you know, centerpieces in kitchens or in bathrooms or just as a focal wall somewhere in wet bars or things like that. Accents. Mm -hmm. You know, you mentioned wet bar and you mentioned kitchen. Yes. I'll tell you, there's no better kitchen. Okay. I love this kitchen. This whole area is pretty amazing. I, I tell you, I don't even know where to begin. I have to talk from a design point of view initially, and that is the way the flow of this whole area is really functional. Yes. And don't you think? Yes, I mean, it is. It, it's perfect for a family. And I really like the, the look of the, um, the very Mediterranean yes. attention to detail. And yet one of the things that the client did, I think, really effectively was use a lot of very contemporary lighting. Yes. Which I really like. I like it too. When you're designing mm -hmm. using these hard surfaces, yes. do you take all that into consideration too? We do. If there are selections made beforehand, we try and keep that in mind when decorating around, mm -hmm. you know, those even, you know, the sinks and faucets and exactly. things like that. If you've got, you know, oil rub bronze as opposed to stainless steel, there's there's quite a different elements that change the look of, you know, the entire room that you want to keep in mind when designing a backsplash or countertops or tile. And it's pretty it's pretty fun talking to you because I'm like, oh, this is a beautiful granite. And Andrea's like, I want you to look at the edge. I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I really want you to look at the finish. So I think what we talked about at the beginning is only a distinctive with getting professionals and getting people who really know how the attention to detail can make a huge difference. Yes. With that said, talk me through some of the edging because there's some different edging throughout. Um, a lot of the edges on here are going to be the OG edge. We wanted to upgrade it but not make it too, too fancy so that there were, you know, too many ripples or too many areas to get chips or get, you know, things to kind of build up and, you know. And, and talk about an OG edge for the people who may not know what that 
really looks like. Kind of walk us through what an OG edge is. It looks like a step down and then you still get that kind of a curved edge in there so mm -hmm. that it still looks soft, but it's not, you know, complete. It's uh, not just like a waterfall. Right, it's, it's not a complete bull nose look. Correct. But it kind of goes in and then comes back out. It's, it's very soft. One of the other things that you all do that a lot of people don't have the capabilities of doing mm -hmm. are things like doing these specialty... Um, the bump outs and things like that. She yes. has good words for all these things. That I don't, <laughs> yeah, for this, you know, this thing right here. And as a designer, we don't have words for it either. We just know what we want it to right. look like. Right, and we follow the cabinets. So, you know, there are a lot of custom things. I think custom is a big word here because okay. a lot of people, you know, they, they design their cabinets custom. They want certain things custom made and that's that's a big point is that this kitchen is the definition of custom. And custom means I want it to suit my family, my lifestyle, my price point, my taste. I mean it makes a lot of sense. And talk about customized. Look at this cook area right here. I think it's phenomenal. First of all, I absolutely love the cabinetry. The cabinetry is so warm and inviting. But the way that you've accented it yes. is pretty impressive. We tied the slate back into the house. So See? you've mm -hmm. got we've got the slate details and accents out front yep. and out back. So we kind of brought that back into the house. So mm -hmm. even though we're using so many different stones and so many different textures and, and surfaces, we're kind of tying them all together. So we've got the slate coming in here again that works with the color of the countertops, that works with the color of the cabinets, mm -hmm. and then we've added a metal insert. I mean, it's just, again, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. Talk to me again about granite as far as a hard surface. Is this a good surface for a kitchen area and why? It is the strongest thing you can use in a kitchen. Okay. Um, you can't scratch it, you can't stain it, you mm -hmm. can take, you know, again, you can take something off the stove, put it right on top without a, you know, pot holder or anything like that. It's, it's safe on the, on the top of the granite. And what finish is this? It's polished. Okay, and this mm -hmm. is polished as yes. opposed to the um, leather Leathered. that we had outside that doesn't show any of the right. la 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 la. Right. Right, that's a technical counseling term. Correct. <laughs> counseling term, technical design term. All right, and this is phenomenal too. The cabinetry with all the, the lighting, so yes. you can really see it too. We're going to take a quick walk. I really want to show the wine room. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. And before we leave, we want to make sure everybody sees the beautiful wine room. I absolutely love it again. It's a nice detail. It Definitely. really yeah. is. We want to thank you, Andrea, for joining us here on Lines on Design. And thank you all for joining us here on Lines on Design. Have a great week.